this tutorial, I'll show you how to properly install plugins on your free Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. If you've never used plugins, they are Minecraft server add-on programs that change how your server works and acts, allowing you to customize your server just how you want it. So let's say you want to have some floating text to greet players when they join your server. There's probably a plugin for that. On the main server status page in Multicraft, click on the menu and then plugins. If you haven't already unlocked this feature with emeralds, you'll need to do that first. To unlock the one-click plugin feature, click on the link in the warning box, be sure to read the important information at the top of the page, click the email me a receipt checkbox if you want, then click the unlock button. The one-click plugin feature is now unlocked for seven days. Click the return button to go back to the plugin list page. Make sure Pocket Mine is selected in the Source drop-down list, then search for the plugin you want to install. You can search by name or description. Since we want a plugin for floating text, I'll search for text and then press Enter. Make sure to pay attention to this last column here. It shows when the plugin was last updated. This is important as older plugins that have not been updated will usually not load or work properly on newer Minecraft Bedrock servers. For this demo, I'll install Texter. Click on the plugin name, and then scroll down to the plugin versions section. I'm gonna stop right here and get serious for a second. 99% of the problems our server owners have is because they have installed the wrong plugin version for their server. So don't be tempted by the cool sounding plugin that hasn't been updated in two years. It won't work. I guarantee that your server will crash, it will lag, and your server world will be corrupted because the plugin's the wrong version for your server version. We've been doing this for over five years and it happens all the freaking time. Okay, so how do you install the correct version? I'm so glad you asked. Let's go back to the main server status page for a second. Scroll down to the mod pack section. In the mod version dropdown, you'll see the version of the server, which is 1.11.0, and next to it, the API version, in this case, 3.8.3. .3. API is a term that has to do with how plugins interact with the server. If the plugin hasn't been updated to match the server API changes, it won't work. Back to the API version, 3.8.3. .3. The first three in that version number is called the major version number. Major versions means lots and lots of changes to the source code. The plugin API major version must also match the server API major version exactly, or the server won't even try to load it. For example, say you found this ultra hardcore plugin called UHC in the list of plugins. You'll notice in the plugin version matrix that this plugin version 1.0 works with server API version 2.0.0. The major API version is 2. Should you install this plugin on your server? Remember that the API major version of the server must match the API major version of the plugin or it will not load. Since the major API version of your server is 3, this old UHC plugin using API major version 2 will not load. Even if it did, it would not work properly and would crash your server on startup. For another example, here's a plugin called Kill Money. In the plugin version drop-down list, there are a ton of versions, so which one should you install? Scroll down to the plugin version matrix. Since we know that we must have major API version of 3, we know Kill Money version 0.1 and 1.1.0 will not work, since those versions use an older API major version. Okay, so what about all these 3.0.0 versions with alpha in the name? Ah, uh, yes, that was a dark period in Pocket Mine history that I won't get into here. Long story short, if you see any plugins with the dash alpha anything, that version is no longer compatible with your server. Just ignore them. Well, what about the first version in the list, 1.1.20? It says the server API is 3.0.0. Will that work on your server? Remember that your server is using API 3.8.3. The major version 3 matches, and 3.0.0 is not newer than 3.8.3, .3, so the plugin should work. Install the plugin, go to your server console,
restart the server and then look for any errors or warnings. What happened here? The console shows that the plugin didn't load because of an unknown dependency. What the heck does that mean? A dependency is something this plugin depends on being installed or it can't work properly. In this case, the economy API plugin is missing and needs to be installed. Now that's easy enough. Go back to plugins, search for economy API, install a version that's compatible, which should be 5.7.2 since it supports API version 3.0.0. Go back to the console, restart the server, and look for errors again. Ah, come on, what happened now? Kill Money is showing a fatal error and it's crashed your server. Remember when I said 99% of server issues were caused by installing the wrong version plugin? Now you see exactly why. Even though Kill Money's major API version was a match, the plugin hasn't been updated in a long time. The developer of the plugin needs to update it so that it's compatible with the latest version of PocketMind servers. Since it doesn't work, let's go ahead and remove it. Now go ahead and do the same for the other plugin you installed, Economy API, since it's not needed anymore. Let's go back to the floating text plugin, Texter. This one has been updated more recently, and since we now know that the plugin API version 3.0.0 should be compatible, install plugin version 3.1.0, which is the latest version. Click the install button and wait for it to finish. Go back to the console, restart the server, scroll down the console log and look for any errors or warnings about the texture plugin. Hey, this time it looks like it loaded successfully. Let's go try it out in game. First, I'll go ahead and opt my Minecraft player from the console while I'm here, as this type of plugin usually needs opt permissions. First, I'll type slash plugins to make sure the plugin loaded and is green, which it is. Now to create some floating text. There we go. Now we have some floating text at our spawn point. One last thing about plugins. Make sure to click on the plugin information link on the page where you installed the plugin. The plugin information page will tell you if you need to install other plugins first, what permissions players will need to use the plugin, and the commands for using the plugin itself. That's it for this demo. Hopefully you now have a good idea on how to install plugins for your server, and more importantly, how to install the correct version plugin for your Minecraft server version. If you run into any issues, just open a support ticket by clicking on the support link in the header and then filling out the support form.